Have you recorded a podcast episode or any kind of interview online via Zoom? But people in your recording are talking in a different volume level. So some people naturally talk more quiet than others. So what to do about it in the post-production? There is actually a very easy fix if you know what to do in Premiere Audition and I'm going to show you now. I will save you a lot of time with this video, so please do subscribe and also check out the thanks button under this video. Okay, so for example, in this kind of recording, even from afar, you can see that the audio peaks are not on the same level. So some of the peaks are lower and some of the peaks are very, very high. So when you play the recording, and especially if, you know, in this instance, it's not that bad, but it will make a difference when people listen with their headphones on. So during the podcast episode, this is very, very important. So when I play this, Whereas I look at the audio levels right there on the right side of the screen on the levels. We're basically aiming to peak around minus three and below zero. And when I play this bit, which is a little bit lower, we can see... Whereas actually you're, you're in the moment, you're... It's barely reaching minus nine on average, okay? And when I play a little bit of a higher part... Um, what's it called? Uh, my wife said to, me, said to me something about imposter syndrome recently. When I said to her, <laughs> you know, so, 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 so I turn around on set sometimes and like... So this reaches on average minus three. So basically this is good, but then I have these lower peaks. Go, but, oh, yeah. Know, um, it's, it's... Which is just not loud enough so but i have one track so i cannot literally like separate this into multiple tracks in this case i've interviewed two people on my podcast so there are three people in one single line a single recording single audio waveform mm -hmm. an audio track and now i have to make sure they all are in the same level right Otherwise, the experience is very, very different. The best way to solve this is also recommended from Adobe is the effect called speech volume leveler. And you can do it in the waveform. You can also do it in the multi-track multi if you want to add this effect into effect rack. But if you're right now in the waveform, literally what you need to do, if you don't select a specific time and place and part of the audio, the whole audio file will be affected by this effect. So I'm going to go to effects and you will find this into amplitude and compression because this is one of the effects which boosts lower signals, so lower speech especially. So which can boost noise as well, but I'll talk about this in a second. So speech volume leveler, okay? So I'm going to click on that and right now this is a custom setting, this is a default, and you you have some presets right there, which basically can completely work for you, okay? Like, honestly, if you have big differences, you go for strong. And just to show you what changes, so we have three values right here, and then advanced and boost low signals. By the way, boost low signals, Adobe doesn't recommend using this because it's amplifying noise so much and literally they say on their website that in majority majority big 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 majority of cases you don't need to use this so make sure it's unchecked target volume level and i'm not going to go deeply into this because the volume level of analog audio and digital audio is measured in decibels but in a different way so in the digital audio the zero is the highest point of volume and then it, all the numbers are below so that's why when we normalize audio to minus three or minus six it's minus but the actual decibels when it's recorded so the analog analog recording when i'm actually talking to the microphone and creating sound waves from the air as well it's different okay this is like 30 60 80 120 decibels so there is a difference okay Target volume level sets the desired output level relative to zero, okay? So the maximum number you can go is minus 10, and this is going to increase the volume. So let me just play you a little bit. Let me just play this. Drawn, like, into those kind of um, female characters. The sound is amplified as much as it can go, okay? Even the lower volumes, lower speeches. So if I go... So minus 20 just to see the difference. There's like, you know, do you like making films with strong female characters? 
So the amplification of the target volume level is at minus 20, there's basically even making it basically worse. And you can play around with that, of course, um, based on the individual recording and go into like minus 14 and we'll see. There's, or why, why is that? Like, it's, yeah, what's the reason behind it? <laughs> So we can boost this a little bit um, in this case. Okay, leveling amount. So this is literally what it says, okay? The bottom line is um, if you go for the lower setting, so let's say from between zero to 50, what happens? You're leveling the speech slightly, but you're not adding any kind of noise because obviously when people talk, so you have one signal, when people talk more quiet, and then people talk loud, the whole dynamic range of one audio track is very, very big. That means when people start talking, you know, quiet, and you increase their voice, you boost the input, you boost the audio, the speech, you also boost the noise. So this is literally like what you have to count on. However, there are some things that we can change right here. So for example, leveling amount between 0 to 50, you're not going to hear any noise. The noise is not boosted, but the speech might not be leveled so well. If you want 100% level speech because you don't have noise, because this was a studio recording or whatever, then you go from 50 to 100% and you're going to have nice leveled audio. But uh, let's see... The zero shouldn't be like honestly zero is not gonna make any difference. So that's like twenty. I've worked with them many times throughout the years, and I was fortunate enough to kind of work with them on my own production. So yeah, it's 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 not like you just want to make female only films and do. It. Let's just see before and after. It will, I'm just the other way, but it's just making a film. It's very very quiet. And and that, that's kind of what entices me. Um, when looking at the script, you know, it's... Mm -hmm. And then higher... The day, as soon as you wrap that shut, there's some went behind the, the fence, literally. And that was it. Like, you, so you see, like, it's very, very... goes up and down, up and down, okay? Depending on the microphone, this was recorded via Zoom. So let's see, very, very unexpected. So, okay, so let's say I'll do these settings. I think I'm happy with this. So look at the waveform and what's going to happen with those audio levels if I zoom out all the way. So I'm going to click apply. And they are basically going to be the same pretty much. So. <laughs> and that's where, like, you, you know, you see a lot of these Hollywood stars being able to do it. Um... It's because you got the budget, so... iPhone or with whatever phone you have. And this is literally how you do it. So before, all over the place, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, this is not what you want to do. What you want to do is literally to have something like this, which is basically, I show you smaller, basically the same thing all over the place. Okay, um, and then of course, if you want completely same thing, then you can apply something called dynamics and this is just a bonus tip and you can compress this audio and you can have okay so let's play you need to play always you can use presets as well but let me just show you what i mean and it's just seeing kind of like how each different character responds in that situation you do see like when i play these bits for example Almost wrapping it, wrapping it up, but um, some words that I say, and this is caused by the microphone as well, um, some words that I say just go below and then they hit, you know, um, the level that I want. So like on average, the speech is, is leveled, like this is great. However, if you literally don't want this to happen because you want it to be like a radio recording and everything has to be in the same output level it doesn't matter um, if people talk like more quiet or louder you can imply and you can apply effect called dynamics and then compressor if you increase makeup gain so you increase the gain of the lower um, sounds and basically speech so you know so when i apply okay 
when I apply the compressor, my audio is just literally hitting minus three. And why, by the way, look at the limiter, is minus three. I'm literally increasing the lowest points of any kind of dialogue audio speech. Thank you. So And everything just peaks in minus three, not below, not above. And this is great, but if you want to keep the natural way of speech, you don't have to do this. Um, but if you want this to be like radio and just minus three and that's it, you go for this. Um, so if the threshold is, for example, minus one... Jordan, in terms of films, now you directed. One, okay, so the compressor compresses all the signal equally and make up gain for more quiet parts. And it compresses everything to minus one, okay? And you can also have for videos is recommended minus six. For audio is recommended minus three. And if you have the podcast, you have to check each individual platform. But basically, it's between minus three and minus one. Um, and yeah, this is preventing the clipping of your audio. So when I click OK, so let me just check. And this should um, be OK. Team. OK, I click Apply. This is the audio. Is that joint in some waffles? <laughs> <laughs> and it was just this scenario, yeah. So basically, as you can see, some of the parts making films with strong female characters. <laughs> I think in terms of like taking a breath or something like that, you know, of um, female characters like, you know, do like making films with optically doesn't hit my minus three mark. But if you look at it overall, this is literally the way um, this is supposed to be. So... If you found this video helpful, do subscribe, as I mentioned, check out the thanks button. If you have any questions in audio, uh, you know, audition, how to edit or Premiere Pro video, anything in relation to this video or overall, I'll ask in the comment section and check out my social media, my podcast. And yeah, I'll see you next time.